Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. We continue our coverage of the sport into the Nike hot seat today. We invite Dylan Wanagel, the manager of the Grapple at the Garden for uh, Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. He joins us from his offices now in New York. Dylan, how are you? Oh, great, Scott. Thanks so much for having me on the show uh, once again. And uh, yeah, everyone here at the Garden, a uh, great team of people. We're excited to have uh, college wrestling back uh, at the venue fourth uh, consecutive year. Being in the Big Apple, you've taken a bite of the apple, and that apple, in my case, would be wrestling. You've done more in the city, I think, than almost anybody to promote wrestling in uh, New York City. And I just love the idea of the fourth edition of Grapple as we prepare for the NCAA championships. Let's talk a little bit about the Grapple at the Garden. It'll take place November 29th, and it's the fourth edition. Has it gotten easier to, to produce this event, or is it still a challenge? Well, uh, just to take a step back, certainly I, I don't want to step on the toes of uh, all the great folks that beat the streets. They've done some amazing work here uh, in the city uh, with growing the sport of wrestling. Uh, as far as the garden goes, uh, certainly it, these, this event has its challenges. Uh, the first thing is we're the busiest arena in the country, so finding a, a suitable date that also works for uh a good amount of, of teams is always tricky, but we're excited to have uh, November 29th secured. That's the Sunday following Thanksgiving. Uh, and thankfully, we do have a, a very nice group of teams coming in, uh, highlighted by uh, five Big Ten programs, uh, as well as Cornell. Um, we can go through the lineup, but uh, yeah, very excited uh, for this group this year. It'll start in the morning. Let's start there. Um, you have... Uh, elementary, junior high, and, and some high school features. Let's talk a bit about that and its importance because that's how you grow wrestling. For sure, yeah. Over the years, we've uh, added elements uh, to the event. We didn't always have the, the little kids, but uh, we've seen how, how cool that is for the, uh, the young uh, athletes themselves and their parents. So once again, we will have uh, grades 3 through 8 uh, here very early in the morning, 8 a.m., uh, Families can register for that on WrestleReg.com, uh, uh, and uh, Bill Crum, uh, a friend of wrestling, is, is overseeing all that, and uh, we also are going to have some uh, exciting high school stuff that, that we'll announce, but really highlighted by a uh, an all-star uh, dual meet of sorts from uh, some top uh, returning wrestlers from New Jersey uh, against a group from Suffolk, Long Island, um, so that, that, that'll be great for those young wrestlers, and then uh, beginning at 10 a.m., we roll into... Um, uh, the Division One uh, dual meets. And the full-on introductions, the fireworks, and the uh, spotlights and everything that is the presentation at the Garden. We love it. Total of 22 colleges this year, mm -hmm. colleges and universities, I should say, including 11 D1. You mentioned the Big Ten, of course, Maryland, uh, Nebraska. Who are some of the other Big Ten programs that will be uh, competing this year? Sure, uh, as well as uh, Rutgers, uh, Northwestern, and Illinois. Um, so some of our highlight uh, dual meets, uh, Cornell versus Nebraska, uh, should be a great battle, uh, as well as uh, Cornell-Rutgers, which traditionally those two programs have, have delivered the most fans here to grapple at the guard. And, and for the first time, those two programs are facing each other. Uh, and it's great to have Illinois coming in. Uh, I had the great opportunity, as along with a couple of my colleagues here from the guard, to go out to St. Louis and we saw Isaiah Martinez finish up his undefeated season with a national championship. And now all the uh, New York City wrestling fans will get to see him uh, in person uh, here at the Garden uh, as Illinois takes on Maryland as well as Drexel. Well, uh, so quite a fine thank, young man. Fine young man. It's a perfect example of what wrestling uh, brings to the table as far as quality individuals. A great competitor, but a really nice young man. Uh, and it's neat that uh, we were able to highlight him and talk about him. You also have, you mentioned De uh, Drexel, Franklin or Marshall, George Mason from the greater Washington, uh, D.C. area, I think is a, a neat addition uh, or, or a re-invite, I should say, to the event. Yeah, yeah, uh, George Mason, they've been here every year. Uh, I've uh, struck up a friendship with Joe Russell. He's a great man, great coach, and uh, we're excited to have him. And, and interesting, uh, this year for him and his team, uh, they, as a D1 program, have agreed to face a non-Division I uh, team. They'll be facing Pitt Johnstown, uh, Pat Pecora's team. Uh, so they, uh, along with Franklin and Marshall, facing uh, Oswego. Uh, for the first time, we have some Division I schools facing, facing non-Division I programs, which I think is very cool. I know years and years ago, um, non-Division I wrestlers were allowed to compete in the Division One National Championships, and I think it's great kind of for the 
underdogs to get their chance uh, to shine against uh, D1, and those should be some very interesting matchups. You've got Nishan Garrett from Cornell, Gabe Dean as well, two of the big stars from the Big Red. You mentioned at one point Cornell, the Big Red, will face another Big Red, of course, the Cornhuskers of Nebraska. Uh, correct, yeah. I think, in fact, that's uh, how uh, uh, Brian Snyder from Nebraska had first built it, a uh, battle of the Big Reds. So uh, that, that should be quite a matchup, and I'm uh, very thankful for both of those programs to uh, agreeing for that match. I think that's going to be great for the fans. Uh, that's what they want to see, two top programs uh, battling it out. Yeah, it's great to have another national champion here, uh, Gabe Dean. Uh, Nishan won our uh, most outstanding wrestler last year. Uh, so, uh, yeah, eternally thankful to Cornell for their support of this particular event. You know, Flow Wrestling uh, ranks uh, wrestlers in their top 10 in respective weight classes, and you've got many of the student athletes who are in that top 10 from Flow. Can you go through at least a couple of them? Uh, sure. Yeah, we, we um, Anthony, uh, Flow, I should say, is, is, you know, obviously does a lot of great things for, for the sport, and they, once again, will have the live stream of all the college duels. Um, it's uh, touching on uh, Rutgers since I'm a New Jersey uh, resident. Anthony Ashnault, uh, uh, I guess, is ranked number eight by by Flow, and I happened to be uh, in a suite with the Ashnault family last year in in St. Louis, just by pure coincidence, at the exact moment that he was uh, competing and won his match to secure his All-American status. And it was a very emotional time. So uh, uh, that was a really interesting place to be, uh, as wrestling is such an emotional sport for all the family. So that was very cool. Uh, Happy to see him ranked. Um, you know, the press release is coming out today, and really, there's many, many um, ranked wrestlers among the top ten um, that that Flow does. So, uh, I was the fans know know where to go for that information. Uh, I don't want to go through all the names just right now, but uh, press release will be out today, and it's an exciting group. We're talking with Dylan Wanagel, and he is, of course, one of the great executives at Madison Square Garden in New York. It's the fourth edition of The Grapple at the Garden. You can find out more information online at thegarden.com. We start at 8 a.m., and we finish at about 3, 3.15 in the afternoon or so. And uh, it's a long day for you, your staff at the Garden, of course, all the wrestlers, the athletes, the fans, but it truly is a full plate. And that's by design, a full plate, a full experience for the fans. Correct. Yeah, we, we like to think of it as a celebration of the entire sport of wrestling. It's an amazing sport for anyone who's ever been involved with it, um, even for a brief period. Uh, what the, these young student athletes uh, go through to compete at this level is truly amazing, especially for the casual sports fan who doesn't quite understand like what these kids go through and have a full uh, academic plate as well as um, all the practices and, and everything they do to be a, a top competitor. Uh, so yeah, it's 8 a.m. till uh, 2 p.m. this year. Uh, we do have a Knicks game uh, later that evening, so we'll be uh, we'll be wrapping up at two. We will uh, in the coming weeks be announcing some senior level matchups that we've been doing the past couple of years. We uh, don't have that for today's release, but. Uh, We'll be adding some exciting senior level matchups. As well. Last year, we had Joe Warren and uh, King Mola Wall, and and uh, they developed a couple teams. And I really like uh, what they've done. Will we be having some additional releases and announcements with regard to uh, pro level matchups? Uh, for sure, yeah. In addition to you know some marketing partnerships announcements, uh, yeah, we would like to add some senior level matches like we've had the past few years with the team Joe Warren and Team Henzo Gracie. Uh, so we're still working on that with some folks from USA Wrestling to figure out exactly what we want to do, but that we will be adding some senior level matchups. The fans have come to enjoy that, so uh, you can look forward to that in the coming weeks. Well, the news continues to develop. It's the annual grapple at the Garden. It has uh, quickly become one of the staples on the wrestling calendar from around the world and around the country, and uh, Dylan Wanagel has been our guest. Dylan, we appreciate the opportunity to talk to you, surely, in this open format, and uh, we're looking forward to, to continuing to roll out the story as it develops, and we're looking forward to being there with you, and again, your staff, very talented folks, obviously very caring for the sport of wrestling, and we appreciate mm -hmm. that. Thank you, Scott. Really appreciate you having me on. Again, yeah, fourth annual Grapple at the Garden. Really excited about it. We also have the Division One National Championships here at the Garden. So uh, a big season of college wrestling uh, at MSG. Tickets, Ticketmaster locations, also online at thegarden.com. They start at 20, go all the way up to 55. Not a bad seat in the house. An emotional weekend for the sport as we celebrate wrestling at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. Dylan Wanagill's been our uh, guest in the Nike hot seat today. Dylan, it wasn't entirely uncomfortable, was it? 
No, that was great. Thank you so much, Scott. <laughs> I'm Scott Casper. For all of us at Takedown, Dylan Wanago, thank you very much, and have a good one, everybody.